morning everybody. Silas back again today. It is a nice chilly Saturday morning and we have got a ton of work to do today. There is no way possible I'm going to get it all done today, but we're going to do as much as we can. The game plan is, is in about a week, uh, actually a little under a week, my guy that buys these calves like that red one there is going to be back in town to get another load. So I've got to get a load ready. Now I was going to do it on Monday, but my wife decided we're going out of town on Monday and you know how it goes. My wife decided we're going out of town, so we're going out of town. All kidding aside, because we're doing something family related on Monday, I'm not going to do anything family related today. I've got to work today. In addition to that, I really want to get set up and have at least some items for an auction. I'd like to get at least 40 lots for an auction. I know I've been talking about an auction for, I don't even know now, nine months, 10 months. You guys tell me how long have I been talking about having an auction? I just haven't been able to quite make it happen, but now I've got the area to do it. I've got quite a bit of things ready to go. I've just got to put them on pallets. I do need to move about three cars out of the way though, so I might do that today as well. But right now, while it's kind of chilly, this is the perfect weather to be running a torch in. There's no wind, the grass is damp, so there's no risk of a fire, and it's a little on the chilly side, so I don't get super hot running the torch. So I'm going to start with that truck that's already on the rack right there. That being said, let's get to it. We go it is off of there this in here took me about an hour to get it off a little bit longer than normal normally when you have two people though it goes way faster you can knock one of these out in 30 minutes when you have two people i was doing it by myself and then on top of that this had one of those pieces on it which i guess it's over here one of these systems that has the uh, air vent on the oil tube i got all the pieces for it it's all here including the air breather on this one but anyway, I know I've sold these. Every one I've ever had has sold for pretty good money. I've actually had subscribers buy these from me before. So if anybody sees this and you want one, I've got another one. Email me. I'm going to go ahead and save this engine as well because I can sell those or I think I can sell those. I think this is a 235 just by looking at it. That's my guess. No, this actually, I think this is a 261 because it has the double bars on it. So uh, yeah, that probably explains why it had the vent, the air vent on it. Now this thing is rusty, the oil pan's rusted out. So this is just a parts unit, definitely not a builder. But it's got good manifolds on it. It has potentially a good head on it. The block is actually still good, it's not cracked out. So I mean, there's a lot of good parts here and it's probably worth two to 300 bucks just like it sits. That being said, I did not bring my impact today. I left it at the shop. I'm not gonna run all the way out to the shop just to get the impact to pull this engine. So I'm gonna stash this off to the side, go out back and grab another truck. Next up on the chopping block, we got a 1963 f600 this truck here is a super super clean truck for those of you who didn't see it before this was in a barn down in oklahoma a buddy of mine went and picked it up for me 
Now, I know a lot of you are probably sad that I'm going to be chopping this one up, which I'm not going to be chopping the nose off of this one. I'm going to be selling the whole cab and clip together. He paid what I wanted for the whole truck, and all he wants is the cab and front clip. And so, think of it this way. If someone came to your house and said, or you had something for sale, somebody comes to your house to pick it up and says, okay, I only want this part of it. Are you going to say, no, you can't buy it. Here's your money back. I'm going to keep the whole thing if you don't buy the whole thing. Most of you would probably not do that. That doesn't make any financial sense at all. Plus, on top of that, I have really, 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 really been wanting a nice dump bed trailer. And every one I get either needs tons of work or it has a wood floor or there's always issues with it. Whereas this one here works. It's in really good condition and it's just absolutely perfect for me to make a trailer out of. So I'll be able to sell the cabin front clip to him and then I'll be able to sell the motor and transmission to somebody else because it's a good motor and tranny. And then I can make a trailer out of the rest of it. I've actually never pulled one of these cabs and clips before off one of these years of trucks, so I'm not entirely sure how it's attached to the frame. Well, that's nice. I don't know if you can really see on the camera or not, but uh, I forgot to drain the antifreeze. And when I went to cut the heater coat, the uh, heater core ho hose, if I can even talk, <laughs> it uh, it was a gusher. It got me all over. I am soaked in antifreeze now. It's all over my hands, all over my face. Luckily, I've got some wipes in the truck, so uh, I'm gonna go clean off. Looks like I crunched the uh, running boards a little bit, but he didn't want those anyway. I was going to pull them off and sell them to somebody, but uh, probably not now. And there we go. I think this one's ready to lift off. I was just going to wait on it and bring the impact, but I got to looking and the motor mounts were, or not the motor mounts, the body mounts were super easy to get to with the torch. And I figured, well, why not? I'll just go ahead and cut them. So I got them all cut. I got the string column cut, but I think we can get it off there. I'm going to set it down, put some straps on it and see what happens. Kind of what I'm thinking is up there in front, in front of those two, uh, what are they, uh, federal trucks that I have up there. I'm thinking I'm going to line up a bunch of pallets of stuff up there. I think I've got room for probably at least 20 pallets there. But I'm going to take engines like that there, and I've got a six-cylinder over there right beside that one out of an old Ford. I'll put those on there. I've got some of those uh, old 216s, 235s, 261s. I've got a couple V8 flatheads out of old Fords. I've got a Studebaker flathead. I got a bunch of old engines that I want to put on pallets and try to find new homes for. In addition to that, I've got three Studebaker, no, yeah, three Studebaker beds, an international bed, a Dodge bed, and a bunch of stuff like that that is too nice to crush, but it just, it, sometimes it's hard to sell that sort of stuff. Whereas when you throw it in an auction, people feel like they have to have it and then they'll pay more for it. Basically, I want to liquidate a bunch of stuff and yeah, I could sell those beds eventually if I took them and I clean them up real good, straighten them up a little bit, and put them on eBay or on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace or whatever, and waited and waited and waited and had to deal with a bunch of no-shows and on and on and on. Whereas I throw them in the auction, the people buy it, they pay for it, and if they don't show up within 30 days to get it, it's mine again and I can resell it again.
All right, guys, I think I'm about done for the day. It's about time for me to head home. I got quite a bit of stuff over there. We'll kind of go through it. I got a few things in here as well that I'm gonna put out there. So uh, we'll check that stuff out real quick. This old Chevy tailgate right here is a really, really nice tailgate. And I've been trying to sell it for a while and I haven't really had any interest. Everybody wants it for nothing. So I think that'll be a good piece to throw in the auction. And I think what I'm probably gonna do is make a pallet of nothing but like this old funnel and this light shade, that gas can. I actually, I might save the gas can and cut it up for a junk lantern But a lot of that other stuff like that, uh, yeah, this old skelly can. Just make a whole pallet of nothing but stuff like that. I've got this old grill shell. There's a bunch of automotive stuff in here. Throughout these antiques. Like the hubcaps, I'll save those. I can sell those on eBay for good money. I don't need to put those in the auction. But there's just other miscellaneous assorted antiques like this here is clear full of old tin cans that's kind of a neat piece there yeah there's a bunch of oh what's that texaco yeah texaco something lubricant yeah we'll just make a whole pallet of nothing but cans and light shades anything like that there's some more galvanized stuff there I've got a bunch of lights. I want to make a whole pallet of nothing but lights. I've got tail lights and headlights and spotlights, fog lights, all sorts of stuff like that. Here's an old spare tire cover. That's a pretty cool piece. I'll put that on a pallet. And I'm not going to put a mega load of stuff in this auction. I'm just going to do one auction for now and see how it does. Probably about 40 lots worth of stuff. And if it does really good, then in the future, I'll do another auction and I'll probably do 40 or 50 lots in it as well. And I'll just keep doing that over and over again until I've eliminated everything that I don't want anymore. Like I said, like those hubcaps and those aluminum intakes, things like that are super easy to package. They're worth pretty good money, so they're worth my time to list on eBay. This other stuff is worth money as well, but the problem is, is that I don't have time to list it all. And that's not stuff that I'm familiar with how to package it properly. I don't have time to do it. I don't know exactly what it is. So I just, it takes a lot more time to process that stuff than the main things that I like. Just for kicks, I'm probably going to put three or four antique bicycles together in a lot. See how they do. I've got that one there. And then over here by the tree, I've got another old one. And then I've got a couple more back behind me over by the fence. These engines here, I do have more pallets, but those are big pallets. And I hate to waste those on skinny engines. So what I want to do is, like this engine over here, I put that on one of those skinny pallets. I've got more of those. I just got to get them cleaned off. So I want to get a bunch of those together to put the engines on. The big pallets, I want to save for small stuff. Now, this pallet is not full. I'll go ahead and find some more stuff to finish it out. I figure I'll just put an assortment of exhaust manifolds and carburetors and bell housings, valve covers, whatever I find, I'll fill it up. And then I've got this big old generator right here. This is going to be kind of an experiment. We'll see what it does. This is actually my dad's here. This came from a farm cleanup that we did. It was covered up. I couldn't remember exactly what it was. I just knew it was something old. So I went ahead and grabbed it and set it out here. But I've still got two engines laying over here that are already out as well. So what is that? I got one, two, three, four five six engines laying out ready to go and actually now that i think about it i have a couple more out back yet then i have a couple that are just sitting on the frames like the one back there i just showed you then i've got another one or two back here that are just sitting on the frame i got to pull off all together i'm probably going to have about 20 lots of engines and engine parts that sort of stuff maybe probably counting parts probably 25 lots and then i have five truck beds i want to sell so that's 30 lots and so i need to come up with a few other things i have some axles uh, three quarter ton four wheel drive axles that'll be one lot I've got a whole bunch of old GM bucket seats that are just parts and pieces. I'm just going to put them all in one pile. I have the bicycles. And so it won't be hard to come up with 40 lots pretty quick. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and be done for today. Now this video will continue when I come back out here on Friday to load these cabs up that I just cut off and some other stuff. We we'll probably have to cut off one more cab, maybe two, to be able to get them a full load. But when we come out here and do that, I'll film that and add it to this video. So I will see you guys again in just a minute. And welcome back, guys. It is not Friday. It is, in fact, Thursday. Terry is on his way to get that Ford cab and the International that's out back. I actually don't think I showed that to you guys on Saturday. I don't have a full load ready for him this time, but it is supposed to be an absolute cold, windy drencher tomorrow. They're talking rain, hail, snow, the whole nine yards. It is incredibly windy out there today, so I can't actually film outside with the microphone, even with my nice microphone that has pretty good wind resistance. It's just too much. So I'm going to slap the GoPro on the loader and I'm going to get busy moving.
I tell you what, that trailer there is heavy. There's not as much stuff in that one, I don't think, anyway. I haven't gone through them yet, but that thing there definitely weighs more than the other trailers did. There's no way I would ever get that out back. My back end just comes off the ground when I pick it up, and I can't steer it. I have to kind of set it down and jiggle it around, and it was just a nightmare. So finally, I just shoved it up in there. All right, guys, change of plans. Terry just called me, and he said that he doesn't want to have to drive home in the weather tomorrow, so he stopped at another place today, bought some trucks there, and he's just gonna haul those back home tonight. So what that means is I don't have to worry about loading or cutting cabs or anything like that right now. He's supposed to be here next week, and so we can work on processing them then. By then, Sean will be back from Texas anyway, so that'll make it a lot easier because, like I mentioned earlier, I really don't like doing those cabs by myself. It's so much easier with a second person. So that being said, it's already 1.30 in the afternoon. I have moved a bunch of cars. Where I was lining stuff up for the auction, there was a bunch of cars over there. There was that Cutlass and I think a Monte Carlo and an LTD and some other stuff. I moved all that out of there just to give me some more room. Here's the LTD. I have had a ton of Derby guys message me about this car when they saw it in some of my videos. And they said, how much? And I said, 800 bucks. And they said, well, send us pictures. And so I sent pictures. I have sent so many pictures of this car to so many people and nobody ever got back with me. So I guess nobody wants it. I'm gonna go ahead and rip the converters off of it here in a little bit, roll it over, do that, and then stack it in the pile. This hay bale spear is a nightmare. I cannot find any good way to move that around. I had it chained up there to where it was kind of staying up for a little bit, but then it fell back down again. I haven't had any interest in this tractor here. I guess I'm probably gonna have to scrap it, or I might try it in the auction. I don't know for sure. I, I may just throw it in the auction and see what happens. It's kind of risky, but I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna think about it the rest of today. If I do decide to go ahead and auction it off, what I'm gonna do is wheel it up forward and then wheel it back in here now that I got this area cleaned out. I'd like to go ahead and get all this stuff moved. This car here I've actually sold twice. One guy sent me a, the payment on it and never showed up to get it. So a year later, I sold it again to another guy. He gave me a down payment on it and then he never came to get it. So in about three months, it will have been a year since the second guy got it. So uh, maybe I'll sell it again. Then I wanna get that box truck out of here. The box truck, I'll probably just let it sit for now. But these two here for sure I want to get moved sooner rather than later. Hello, Mr. Kitty. This cat's been hanging around for a long time now, so I guess it's staying. This is the International that Terry's buying. I brought it up front from out back, but now he's not going to be here, so I guess I can either take it back out back or just leave it up here, stash it out of the way or something like that. But I got this area pretty cleaned out. The 63, I've got a guy coming next week to get it as well, so it'll be gone out of the way. So then I can get in here. But yeah, if I get all of this stuff cleaned out, clean this area out, that will give me tons of room to line stuff up for an auction. I really don't think I'm even gonna list that much stuff in the auction, but at least I'll have plenty of room. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you already know, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there, find an adventure. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.